Hello everybody. How are you all doing today? Welcome. Good to see so many people here immediately. That's awesome. We are going to be playing a game which is early access. So if there's anything, as you can see that down here, uh, if there's anything missing or contains bugs, and you know, that, that is to be expected. Um, it's early access. Still a lot of features they want to add to the game. There's still a lot of things they want to fix, make better, improve upon, etc, etc. Um, but I'm just quickly going to read the Twitch... Uh, not Twitch. <laughs> the Steam store page here. To read out what it says about the game. You can see it down below in the description as well. On YouTube anyway. So defined... Uh, undefined is a sandbox survival game like no other set on a life-sized voxel planets set on life-sized voxel planets with realistic physics with the possibility to shape your own building blocks from our custom made furniture walls crafting stations to vehicle parts you shape the blocks which can then be used to build buildings spacecraft and aircraft endless possibilities with as little limitations as possible very exciting so you can really design your own your, your, your own creations you can design your own walls with different textures uh, you can basically make uh, an oven for example out of all the different parks parts i saw that on a video from somebody else so that's why i take it as an example like you can just build stuff from nothing basically that's pretty cool um and space travel will be most likely in the game as you can build your own spacecraft later on i believe that's not in the game yet but there's a lot of things still gonna add to it so i'm pretty sure that's gonna be a whole lot of fun let me start a new game. I did play a little bit already. Let's just call it Booster World. Easy. We're not going to be playing in creative right now, but maybe a little later we'll switch over to a creative world and we'll play around in there. Let's start in the forest. There's a lot of different biomes. I think the forest is the one that's that, that seems the best to build in right now. Um, I, as I said, I looked around a little bit. And I feel like the forest is the best place to start. It is a survival game. But right now anyway, the focus is mainly on the building aspect. It looks quite nice. It looks really nice. I am absolutely in love with how it looks immediately right from the start i do think though that the biomes <laughs> they you know they they can be they're, they're a bit, little bit rectangular if you know what i mean <laughs> like the biomes there's no what's it called it, it doesn't really overlap or whatever you know what i mean i don't know how how, how to say it I'm not the greatest in explaining things like that, but you know what I mean. Just just like uh, like Minecraft, for example, just the biome all of a sudden just becomes another one, like without any without any what's the word? My God, can't think of it. I'm right now just collecting some some wood. You can do that by pressing F. Let me see. What are we collecting? We have wooden sticks. And we have blueberries right now. No special textures for it yet. But that's alright. How's everybody doing today? Let me see who's all in the chat. I see 14 people watching right now on YouTube. That's awesome. And one on Twitch. Thank you guys all for being here. And uh, Foodie Food, thank you very much for the ice cream no, uh, super chat earlier. That's awesome. I believe we also have... Oh yeah, there he is. Undefined the game. That is the developer. 
So if there's any questions about the game, then feel free to ask and hopefully the developer will be able to um to answer them for you. Hello Joe. Hello Silver. Um Foodie Food of course. And Tom is here. And that's about it for everybody who chatted anyway. Thank you guys all for being here. We also simulate the different climate zones. That means the higher latitudes will be colder biomes. Cool, cool. Like tundra and arctic. And on the Ecuador are deserts, jungles, etc. That's cool. So it's like a realistic, like earth. Earth-like, realistic, I guess. Pretty cool. Uh, I haven't tried, but maybe I can hold F to gather stuff. No, I have to keep pressing it. That might be an idea. Or uh, that might be a good accessibility setting to have in the game. Instead of having to keep pressing F to collect stuff. Maybe you can hold down the F key to collect stuff. Obviously for some people it might be better. Let me see. I also need to find some rocks to create tools with. Now, rocks, I have a very hard time finding them. I think I see one over there. Yeah, there's one. Cool. Found some stones. Here's another one. They're not very obvious. But the best way to get those rocks or stones is just by mining. Oh, there's another one. As soon as I say I'm having trouble locating them, I find a million of them. That's always how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. So, we have sticks, we have berries. I don't know why these aren't stacking in the inventory there. We have stones. Let's go over to the crafting. This is not very obvious when you're looking... When you have the sky on the background there. Uh, we have environment, temperature... No, I... Is this gravity? Gravity? Okay. But different planets obviously are going to have different kinds of gravity. That's cool. Radiation. I suppose this is solar radiation. High oxygen level and altitude. So maybe there's also going to be oxygen tanks later on. Or space travel, obviously. There's a lot of different statistics. This can be a very, very... Uh, what's the word? Very complex game later on. With all the different statistics and different worlds you can go to. It's going to be a lot of fun. But let's craft something. We have a couple of things we can craft with our hands. We can make sand out of stone. I don't know how that works, but okay. A uh, piece of wood, pickaxe. Uh, yeah, let's do a pickaxe. There we go. Let's do a oh, hammer we can't do yet. We need a lock first. Okay, so let's craft a wooden axe. And a shovel. And then that's all the tools that we can make. We can almost make a workbench, but we need wooden locks for that one. Okay. Cool. Put that in our inventory then. Goes all the way down there. And let's first chop up the tree. Or this is the axe. Pickaxe. Shovel. Tool. The tool is very close to your face. <laughs> it's really close. It scares me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Just flashing before your eyes. Very quick. Very close. And from a large tree like that, you only seem to be getting one piece of log. I think. Let me see. We have four right now. Yeah, only seem to be getting one of them. Okay. That's gonna be a lot of forest I'm gonna have to destroy. Get what I want. 
All right, but now we have a couple of locks. Then what else can we do? We need some wooden lock. Yeah, don't I have those? Oh, right. They have to be in the inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to be in the inventory. Otherwise, it doesn't count for some reason. If I take them out, you can't craft anything anymore. All right, so make pieces of wood. Luckily, you craft multiple of them each time. Mm. Made in the Unreal Engine. You sometimes get stone while digging uh, dirt. Yeah, I noticed that when I was playing a little bit before. But finding it in the beginning seems to be a little bit of a challenge if you don't know what you're looking for. But once you see one of them, you usually see a couple like, close by. But that's not a big deal. I had the same issue when I was playing Medieval Dynasty. Like, I didn't know what I was looking for. But once I knew what it looked like in the game, it was quite easy to find. Alright, so this is very interesting, the building. You can see all the different options there on the right side of the screen. You can rotate the blue around the blue axis, I guess. You can shift Q and E for the red. You can control Q and E for the green. You can mou mouse button aligned player. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what mouse button aligned to player. Not quite sure why it turns that way then. Uh, control and scroll mouse. Back and forth. You can do shift. Left to right. And bring it a little closer. And we can do alt. Bring it up and down. That's pretty cool. And what else do we have? We have page up, page down. Change location grid. Oh, you can change the... Can change the grid. Hmm. You make it smaller. Oh, I see. Oh. You can make the grid smaller so you can be more precise on where you want to place things. Okay. Or you can be less precise, I guess. Just plop it down anywhere. That's quite cool. And then when you go all the way down, it turned off. Turned off, okay. Cool. Page up and down. Uh, pause one and change rotation grid. What is pause one? I have no idea what pause one is. An end. And I know what it is, obviously, but I'm not quite sure what that does. And rotation grid. And then G is disable the grid visualizer. So it's still on the grid, but it just, just doesn't show the visual grid. Position one. Hey, flippers. How you doing? That's the home button. Oh. What does that do, though? I'm not quite sure what it does. Change rotation grid. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, I see it on top of the screen there. Okay, now I see. Okay, so you can see on top of the screen, all the way all the way in the middle on the top of the screen, you can see the the nine the angle of it. I can turn it up or down 
like that and that determines how you rotate it oh that's really nice you can just rotate it however you want okay i see that is useful Oh, and there, there you can also see the grid sizes. One meter, 90 centimeters, etc. Okay, I didn't even notice that before. That is really good to know. That's cool. Alright, well, let's stop playing around. Well, actually. Now I don't want to stop playing around. Now I just want to do it like that. Alright, and we'll... Put it on the ground, as much as possible anyway. Um, does the grid also... Oh, no, 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 I messed it up. Alright. Put it down. Does it also change the visual grid? I think the, the vertical, I meant, not visual. <laughs> the vertical grid. I think it does. I turn that up. I don't know what keeps moving around. Oh yeah, it does. So it moves much more quickly up and down. Like that. Okay. So you can be a lot more precise if you adjust that. Alright, let's plop her down. With a right click, apparently. Alright, that looks quite cool. Might change in the future, obviously. But it's obvious that it's a workbench or something like that. Need to adjust my chair. Mm, also vertical. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of different options. It's pretty cool. And maybe overwhelming for some people. But I think once you get the hang of it, it will be fine. Alright, so this is the crafting inventory. Connected inventory. I'm gonna have to put everything in there, I think. For it to work. Then we can go into crafting. And then we can craft things in here. It doesn't allow me to craft anything new, as far as I know. So I'm not sure what the benefit is of crafting something in here. But what we also have in here is an object designer. And I think that is where, the ga where this crafting table or whatever it is comes in useful. A workbench, yeah, that's what it's called. So, what do we want to do? Let's make a hammer first, because we didn't have one yet. Now we have a hammer. And before we do anything else, I want to dig. Because I dig this game, that's why. Yes, I made a horrible joke there. So let's, let's go digging. Let's go underground. Alright, takes, takes some practice. There we go. Banging my hat on the ceiling. Alright. Oh, that's a big hole. I didn't want to make a big hole there. I was trying to make it even, but I guess that's not an option. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm making it worse. Okay. I'm making it worse. I should stop doing anything. There we go. That's a little bit better, I guess. Let's keep going down. Yeah, we are getting dirt. We're getting a couple of stones. Now we're reaching actual stone layers we can't dig in there unless there's dirt right next to it it seems all right but this is why we have the pickaxe make sure we have a way out now we can dig this and mine all the stone all the rocks pretty cool though the first thing i notice immediately 
that the lighting doesn't really change. Maybe it changes slightly, but it feels like everything is just as bright as it is on top. Even around the corner here, looks like it's same lighting. Pretty cool though. I like the way it all looks. Can't wait till they add like caves or something to the game. I don't think they are in the game yet. But that's gonna be cool for sure. I don't have any berries with me so I can't eat anything. It looks like we are low on food. Yeah, 15%. Let's go back on top. Let's get the berries that I put in the in the work table, the workbench earlier. There we go. Uh, there it is. No caves yet, but planned. Cool, cool. Alright, there are the blueberries. Let's take them. Uh, slot number eight. Oh, there we go. Now we're full again. Awesome. Uh, let's put this all in... Oh, it doesn't... Shift-click? It does from here. From here you can shift-click it. But you can't from your... Up bar, apparently. That's fine. Alright, we got some stuff. Uh, we haven't found any coal yet. I want to make a torch. We need coal for that. Let's go back into the mine. Now let's see if we can find some. I have no idea how hard it is to find it. Or if you can even find it like this. Maybe we just need to smelt. Uh, or smelt. Maybe we need to burn some wood to make charcoal. I don't know if you can find it in the ground yet. I found a little earlier when I was playing this. I found... A weird kind of rock, but I couldn't mine it with the wooden pickaxe. So maybe I need an upgraded version of it. I'm not quite sure yet. You can find it underground in mines, of course. Just gotta be lucky then. Oh, broke my pickaxe. Alright. Man, I, look at this. This looks pretty cool. Pretty cool the way this looks. And I can still hear crickets all the way under on the ground. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, that looks a little funny. Let's go back up. What is that? Looks like there's something on fire there. I guess it's just the sun going down. Orange glow. Now that means we really need to find ourselves a torch soon. Or make ourselves a torch soon. And what do we need? Let's make a furnace if possible. We need 30 stone tiles. Uh, stone tiles are made here. We make four each time. Okay. We just have to make a couple of them. Do, 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 do. How long are in-game days? Depends on the save game setting. I think he set it on 60. Oh, can you change that? Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, wait, yeah, no. I, I saw an option for, like, changing the, the sun speed or something. But it, it doesn't really... I don't think it says how long each day is. Not sure. But I guess you know that from the top of your head. <laughs> you can also craft coal out of wood in a furnace. Yeah, that's what I... That's what I thought. Um, 72 stone. Cool. Make a furnace. 
And we can maybe make a forge. Yes. Oh, wow. Perfect. The exact amount. Two left. Beautiful. Oh, it's getting dark. Now we better put those down. Make some all soon. I have a hard time seeing where I place this. Let's turn off the visualizer. Uh, let's put it up a little. We put it on top of this just to make it easier for us to see. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. No problem with this, right? Why shouldn't you build a smelter right on top of your workbench made out of wood? No problem whatsoever. What could go wrong? Alright, let's go to crafting. Uh, let's see. Coal ore. Yes, so we can make pieces of wood. Pieces of wood. We can make those. Oh, we need more logs for that. Oh boy, it's getting real dark now. I hope you guys can still see well. Let me just quickly make some more pieces of wood. Make some coal. And then we'll get some torches ready to go. So you guys can actually see what's going on. Crafting pieces of wood. Uh, I need this in there. There we go. Alright, that's the wood. Wait a little bit longer. Hmm... That's done. Shift click. And then open that up. Oh, I didn't mean to throw my axe there. Shift click it in there. It would be nice if it was connected to each other. The, um... Like your, your own inventory and the table that you're working with. That would be nice. Um, okay, let's use fuel. There we go. Nice. Oh, that looks really cool. Alright, so now we have fuel in there. Is there a visual, like, showing us how much fuel we have? Or for how long? I don't think so. Well, let's make a whole lot of coal. I don't know how much we need, but we'll just make, like, a ton of it. Put some more fuel in there. Oh wow. It's getting hot in there. It's getting real hot in there. More coal. There we go. We're gonna have enough for a while. 2000 degrees Celsius. Jeez. That's hot. Take that coal for now. In the meantime, we can make something with it. So we can make glass here, iron ore, copper, gold, tin, aluminium. Cool. Good to know. Let's go back here. Oh, let's take our axe. And uh, we can also place down this one now. Let's see. Turn it around. Right there. Let's put it... Wait, um, change the... How do we change the rotation again? Change the rotation is... This one? Yes, this one. Alright, cool. Put it in the ground. Right there. Right. Now we have coal. I don't think we can do anything with coal in here. Yeah, we can make an iron bar, copper bar, gold bar, tin bar, aluminium bar. Oh, look, okay, so there is an ingot icon. Copper ingot. Requires, okay. So what does a bar look like? An iron plate, copper. Oh, there we go, we can make better tools here oh I see we need a plate for the shovel bar for the pickaxe for the axe for the hammer we need an... the hammer we just need an ingot okay a regular ingot cool 
Do, 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 do. Note fire changing colors. Oh, I didn't see that. Like the hotter it gets, the colors change. I guess. It looks really cool though. Really nice. And there's like holes on the sides as well. Pretty neat. Okay, but I want to make a torch. Go make a torch. Um, we need wooden sticks, which we have in here. Let's take everything from here. Because I think we have plenty of carrying capacity. Zero out of 200. Um... Uh, Oh, I, I guess the the weight is turned off currently. I suppose. Not sure how that works. Mm. Forest fire mechanic. Was it magnesium that made fire green? I don't know. I think I've heard something like that before. Yeah, the temperature also determines the color. We implemented that. And hotter temperatures will change the color of the fire. Cool. That's nice. I like that. Um, okay, now we can make a torch. Let's make a couple of them. Because I think they run out quite quickly. There we go. Have ourselves a torch and you can just throw it on the ground and luckily never ha nothing happens but instead of doing that let's see if we can find wait my pickaxe broke i forgot about that all right so we have to make ourselves a new pickaxe quickly crafting wooden pickaxe let's make two of them there we go Pickaxe in my inventory. Let's go mining. Man, the, the torch is really close to your face. Like all the tools. Like this is fine. When you're just running around like this. Walking around, it's fine. When you're running, it's like in your face. Alright, just uh, place this down. There we go. And let's uh, keep mining. Let's see if we can find ourselves some ores. Oh. What is this? Did we find something? Did we find something cool? I think we did. What a timing. Alright. It doesn't look like I can mine this yet. So I'm not sure... What we do with this? What is that? Looks gold ish. Gold copper? No idea. Can't seem to mine it with my pickaxe. Only when there's like stone right there, I can mine it. Hmm. <laughs> You put wooden wood frame in. Be getting lost in down there. I mean a wooden frame in the mine? I suppose you could put that in. Like an actual real life mine? I guess so. I think you can just build whatever you want, wherever you want. I need my torch. Ooh. Found something else or is this dirt? Oh, this is iron. We found iron. There we go. Nice. 
he found some. Alright, cool. So now with this iron, I can probably... Probably... We can smelt that down. And... Okay, the torch disappeared. I think it died. Put it there. Um, yes, with the iron I can probably make another pickaxe now. And then we can mine whatever that stuff is. Cool. Whoop. Is there more? Or oh, more? I want more. Doesn't look like there's more though. A little bit there. Very cool. I think we got all the all the iron from this place. Looks like. Yep. Let's go back up. Man. This looks cool. Look at the cave that I created. Really neat. Oh, and by the way, totally forgot. Hold on a second. Lately, we've been doing quite a few giveaways on the channel. Thanks to all the lovely developers that give me some extra keys for you guys. And this developer was also very kind. And also I have given me some keys. So what I'm going to set up right now. Is I'm going to set up a giveaway for you. Let me see. I'm going to have to edit this. So nobody gets confused about what is being giving away, given away. Should have done this beforehand. But I kind of forgot about it. My bad. I'm not perfect. I'm sorry that I lied to you all. Uh, undefined, I think I wrote that correctly, undefined giveaway, copy that, and I'm also going to paste that down there, there we go. And let's save that. And let's start the giveaway. So, for everybody watching right now who is a follower on Twitch or a subscriber on YouTube, you can do exclamation mark raffle for a chance to win this game. Again, it's early access, so things will change, things will be added, there will be bug encounters. But right from the start, as you can see, it's a pretty cool game. And I think you will have a lot of fun playing this. So if you want to play this, exclamation mark raffle in the chat right now. Alrighty. Let's smelt that iron, shall we? We got ourselves coal. Can we use the coal as well to fuel? Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. So it's quite funny, you can use the wood, I mean it makes a lot of sense. You can use the wood to burn the wood, create coal, and then you can use the coal again for fuel for later on. That's pretty fun. Okay, and now let's put in the iron. 28. Oh, I hope that's going to be enough. I don't know how much it will give us. Iron ore. Can I not craft it? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, it gives us two each. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and we can... We can make more. Let's do 21. All of it. There we go. Beautiful. Waffle. <laughs> No, raffle, Bill. Raffle, not waffle. No stroop waffles. Not those. That's something else.
There we go, 56 iron. Just click that into our inventory. Um, I guess we can keep... I want to keep half of this. How do I divide thing? Right click, control. Is that an option? I want to do half and half. I don't think that's an option. Currently. We'll keep this in our inventory then. Doesn't matter. Alright. Control mouse. Click. Um... Oh, there. Oh, okay. And then drag. Oh, I see. Uh, I was expecting it to bring up like an inventory or something. Or not an inventory, like a visual, like a bar or whatever. Okay, but you just drag it over there. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, let's put that in there then. I call there. And let's see if we can make something special. I want a better pickaxe. Iron bar and a wooden stick. An iron bar. We first need to put this in there. Wooden sticks in there. Let's do half. There we go. This needs fuel as well. Or using the wooden sticks to fuel it. Wow. A couple of wooden sticks go a long way, apparently. <laughs> what needs minimum temperature? Oh, that's why we couldn't craft things before. We had to wait for it to reach the high, uh, the high temperature. I see. Okay. All right, 1500. And now we can craft things. Let's just make a couple of them. Don't necessarily need all. There we go, it's almost done. Cool, cool. And now we should be able to craft this one. Um, let's craft it, like, I don't know, five times. Five iron pickaxes, that should come a long way. And we'll make ourselves another five iron axes. Beautiful. We'll never need any any more. And then we can make iron plates. And we'll make shovels with those. And I don't know how many I'm gonna need from the hammer. But I think it will just make one hammer. That's alright. There we go. Plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. Torch is almost em is almost uh, done. We have another one. I think we had another one. Yes, we do. All right. This wooden pickaxe is almost done. We'll just keep using it until it breaks, I suppose. Let's go down. Go down into the cave again. pretty cool um this way i think i went this way oh yeah there it is beautiful all right let's put the torch like right there i didn't mean to drop that one how did i even drop that i wasn't holding it what <laughs> how did i drop that pickaxe okay whatever Alright, but now I can mine this, I think. Yeah, gold. Yeah, I thought it looked like gold a little bit. Cool, we got some gold, baby. I don't know what to do with it. But we got it. Who doesn't like gold, right? Oh, what is that? Is that something else? Or is it also gold? Maybe it's just because the torch is far away. Looks like something else. Oh yeah, no, it's the same thing. Okay. 
There we go. Uh, let's first break this pickaxe, the wooden one. There we go. We're getting rid of it. There's a lot of gold here. Hopefully it's useful for something already. Otherwise we're gonna have to search for some more important ores to work with. Hmm... You're more of a silver fan. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, getting tired. Let's eat something. Um, oh yeah, we have blueberries in there. I forgot. Go. Mining. Oh, I really need a mining helmet now. Oh, is that something new? Can we find something new? What is that? Ugh. Looks like something else. Pick up the torch. There we go. Wait, is it the same? It looked like something else for a second there. But I guess it's just the same thing. I was a little bit excited there for a second. <laughs> Where's that iron ore? I'm not sure. Oh, it's copper. There it is. I was, I was looking for it over here. On the end. There we go. <laughs> Let's switch that out there. It's copper. Nice. We found something new. It's very difficult to see what it is. It looks more white than anything. All the gold. This is cool. We're finding a lot of new things. I'm not sure like how far into the game you can get, what kind of upgrades you can get yet. But this is very exciting, I like it. Do mm. something quickly. Mining that copper. And I think soon we're gonna take a look at the building. Because I think now we have quite a lot of stone to work with and different materials. Hopefully we can do a lot of cool thing, cool things with that. Maybe we need to get some more wood, some more wood chopping. Mm. Yeah, in the uh, object designer we will start creating some cool stuff soon. Well, at least I think. I don't know how creative I am with this. Let's go back up. There's, oh my god. I docked my own grave. Get up there. Okay, where did I come from? I think that way. Yeah, look at that cave that I created. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. never realized booster could be this so picky you mean the pickaxe oh funny gallon funny gallon crazy only one person only one person entered the giveaway really
let's reopen that. Because a giveaway with only one person in it is not much of a giveaway. Let's start it again. For a little while. So if you want a chance to win the game, exclamation mark raffle in the chat. Mm. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do first? Let's get myself the axe. Iron axe. There we go. Chop down some trees. Now that it's daytime again. There we go. Gonna need a lot of locks, I think. Hey, Sebastian. Mm -mm -mm. Show, show the object designer. Yep, I will soon. I'm gonna get some locks. And... Then we'll go working on all the cool things you can do. There we go. I don't know how much we'll need, but I think this should be enough for starters. Alrighty. Object designer, there we go. So this is the object designer. You can add multiple things to it multiple uh let me see there we go multiple blocks make something like this for example lead it and use different shapes to start off with cube with hole works and i for example made this let's load that a simple wooden platform I made a little basket pretty cool I made this oh it doesn't oh wait that's the, the other one just a simple cobble cube with hole and I made this for floor I think this one looks quite nice I'm quite happy with this but if you turn it around and this is a like a straight corner almost, and this one isn't. Not quite sure why that is. On this side it looks fine. Maybe I have to change this one a little bit. Change it this way. Maybe it will look better on the other side then. If I make it a little bit bigger as well, no. No, the size is not the problem. Size is not the problem. I think I just have to change this one a little bit more. Right there. Yeah, that seems better. Yeah, that seems good. Cool. Alright, so that's done. Change this back to a 4. That one is a good size, I would say. Let's do with sharp edges. We can do smooth edges. Or you can do sharp edges. That's pretty neat. You can change all the materials down there if you want. And I want to craft it, but I don't have enough stones. Oh my god, you need a lot of them. You need a whole lot of them. <laughs> you like your odds at winning, Joe? Yeah, but I'm not going to do a giveaway with only one person in it. Come on. That'll be too easy. That'll be too easy, Joe. Okay. Um, Alright, so we can't make this yet. Let's save this, though. There we go. For the future. And uh, let's see. We need 300 stone and we need wooden planks. I don't think we have those yet. Um, ba -ba -bum. rocks, gold, copper. We don't have stone either. Okay. Let's put this all in there. All the things we do not need, put in there. And then we go to crafting. Stone. We need to craft, I don't know, like at, at least 
500 stone, I guess. Means 500 rocks as well. What? Wait, that's the amount. Okay, how many rocks do we have? We have 33 rocks. Let's do all of them. But that's not even enough. Oh, wait, I have more down there. There we go. We can do like an additional 100. That's going to take a lot of time. Now, what if I make another one of those crafting tables? I think I should do that. Make another one of those tables. Workbenches, I meant. Let's get some more supplies. There we go. And another log. Boom. Another workbench. There it is. Put it there. Let's place that one down there. Now we can make something else over there. Beautiful. So let's take those rocks. Those rocks in there. Make more with those. Multitasking. Beautiful. You're just here cooking foods, having fish. Nice. Enjoy it. Let's see, how much do we have now? 200 stone, or not enough yet. We have to wait a little bit longer. That's alright. Because we also... Let me see, let's take those. We also have to make... The wooden planks. We'll need another one of those. Now we'll need to make wooden planks somehow. We need locks for that. Well, okay. How much do we get? Five? Well, after chopping more trees. Sadly, you only get one lock each time you cut down a tree. So we'll just have to keep cutting down the entire forest. No, no energy. The weight. Let's get some food. Berries to eat. No. Oh. Pick up that stone. Why not? Oh, that was very bright. Let's put those in there. And make some more planks immediately. Mm, let's see. But I only got one wooden lock from that. Oh, there's wooden locks there. I see. Alright. Then we'll make more planks. Let's use all nine of them. There we go. In the meantime, we might as well keep cutting down those trees. We might be are probably going to need a whole lot more to make an actual building. I'm stuck on that rock. I think. Yeah, I think so. Tired again? Eat something. It's tired pretty quickly. I mean, I am spamming my axe on this tree. Makes sense. Get tired. You take it a little bit slower. Instead of spamming it. Cool. Make some more planks. Thing planks. Six times. Now let's take those. Let's see. 
take all the stones. That's already enough. Beautiful. All right. Now go back to the editor. Go back to this one. This is what we are making right now. Takes 313 stone. 39 wooden planks. Which we have. Set to put it in workbench. And then now we can craft one of them. And after the stone it will be crafted. Right, let's get rid of that. Beautiful. Now we have this one. And we can place it down. Wherever we want. Let's see. It's pretty big. I made it pretty big. That's alright. Let's just place it... Hmm. All the little bushes are going to be in the way. You can see through. They're, go they're going through the floor. Maybe I put it here. But then the grass is going to be in the way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A little bit annoying. I should have made it bigger then, I guess. Or I can build it a little bit in the air like this. I'll make a little stairs going up to it, I guess. Or place it there. That's alright. We can make a tiny little ramp leading up to it or something. We'll see. But this is pretty neat. Nice cobblestone. Like, I don't know, foundation around it. And then a wooden floor. Let's see if we can make a little, little building here. A tiny little house. Nothing special. Back to the editor. And then we need a wall. I guess we can use the cube for that. Both. And then what we'll do is we'll change one. We'll make it five centimeters, 5.10. Guess we can do it like this 0 0.05. Yeah, five centimeters. Cool. And we can make this bigger. This bigger. Uh, how tall do I want this to be? 2.5. 250. And then this also 250. It will be good enough, right? I don't know how tall your character in the game is. Wall. Uh, wood. That's safe. And we need only two wooden planks for that. Wow, okay. That's not that much. We have that easy. I could have made that at the other one as well. Let's load in this one. And then we'll have to put it in... In there. And then we can craft it. Let's craft it once first to see what it looks like. Alright, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, Let's go up. Let's change the grid. Make it... Make it bigger. Smaller. Right. Go in. I guess I can do it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I guess I can do it here first. Change the rotation again. Put 
do a wall like that. Should have made it a little bigger. Should have made it three meters instead. I mean, I can actually do that. I can just get rid of this, I guess, right? Or just not use it at all. Put it back in my inventory. Go to the editor, wall, load. And let's make this three instead. There we go. And then save and craft that. Craft it once more. Um, and another one. Alright, now these are the ones that we're going to be using. I think. They're not tall enough. I thought it would be tall enough, but I guess not. I guess the floor is a little different. But that's alright. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. We can change that later. Uh, we'll go down a bit. Already in the floor. There we go. That's one. And we'll do... Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, man. I'm horrible at this. There's gonna be gaps everywhere. Everywhere, dude. I'm horrible at this. See. Alright, well, I mean, it's a start. There's been a message about the raffle. I believe every now and then the raffle automatically. There's a message automatically. I believe. If it doesn't happen, then. No, that's. That's. That's a problem. But you can remind people as well. You can help me out. Uh, let's see. So what do I do here? I think I can do... This. This. Is that exactly the space in between? Or is it just wherever I place it, which is very... Which might not be very accurate. That's like 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters missing everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna need something to make up for that. That's cool. And... We have another wooden wall here. But well, that's the one we had before. Why did that one drop? Sometimes when you drop the torch, it also drops something else for some reason. Hmm. Level editor. I will need another one of those walls. But this time we need a... We actually need a door frame. I guess what we could do for this one. Uh, let's see what. Yeah, that's this one. We can make this one. Like one. 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah. And then we'll save that. No, no, we don't have to save it. Can just add another one. Can we copy this? Not sure if there's a way to copy that. Uh, 1.5, uh, 1 1.1, and then 3.
uh, 1.05, right? Or 0 0.05, sorry, I'm talking rubbish. There we go. And positioning. Uh, all right, that one, yes. Maybe zero. Positioning. Nope. Wrong one. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll add another one. And that is also going to be 0 0.05. This one can be different. Um, has to fit right in there. little bigger all right that seems good put it all the way up there that seems good yeah that seems good I like it. Hopefully this is tall enough. I'm not sure. That's fine. We'll do that one. Change it a little bit. Gotta make sure we fit through. Wooden... No, oh, not saved objects. I want to save it. Uh, wooden door. Wooden door. Save. There we go. And craft one of them. And it's in there. There we go. Is it too big? How did I... Oh, yeah, of course. I made it way too big. Well. It's not that, it's not that bad. Could have been worse. Could have been a huge hole like this one. Do we fit through, though? Oh, no. Now, apparently the player is quite tall. Because this thing is three meters, I believe. Two and a half or three meters from the top there. But, yeah, two and a half I made it. Okay. Oh, I should have made it three. Like that one. Get rid of it. I made a mistake. Not a mistake. All right, that's fine. Practice. That's fine. Load that. Alrighty. Um. Wait, this is free. Yeah, three hundred centimeters. Did I put it in the ground a little bit too far? Guess so. Alright, we can just change this one though. Doesn't matter, I guess. Um, we can change this one a little. Put it all the way up there.
Looks a little funny like that. Try and align it with the others. Doesn't look too bad. Very cool. Free, that's free. Okay. And we'll save that one and make it once more. Let's see if this one is a little bit better. And let's go up. Yeah, I made it the right height. This way. Not sure about the height right now. Hard to see. Like this. Oh man, that's really hard to get it right. All right, but it it worked. Look at it. Look at us. We made ourselves a little, a little sort of house. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible is what it is. My God. And this uh. This is a difficult thing to work with in the beginning. This this is going to take some getting used to. Definitely. Now I wonder, can we change these? Like, can we put them back and... Like, do, do something with them? Or do we just... Did we just make them for nothing? You can also drag the items with the right mouse button. Oh, that was a long time ago. In the inventory? I'm not... Oh, like this. Oh, I see. Alrighty. Um... Right, so let's make it actually good this time. Load the wall. Do sharp edges. And... Yeah, we should make it... Was this the right one? Yeah, that's the one. 3.10 a little bigger and I think that should be good mm, the height I think is fine I want to make it a little bit a little bit more 0 0.1 10 centimeters thick. Here. One, two. Oh, we can't craft more of them. Alright, let's save this. Yeah, that's the new one. Uh, let's change the grid again. Now it feels like it's too big. Oh no, that's only because it was like buff, I guess. Oh, 
Right there. Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. Missing a little bit on each side. Should have made it a little bit bigger, even. Hey, Sir Black, how you doing? By the way, if people want to join the raffle, there's a giveaway for this game going on. Exclamation mark raffle, if you want a chance to win. Uh, I need some more wood, I believe. Some more logs to make uh, the wooden planks with. I've been using them all on my mistakes. Ugh. Very tired, but doing well. Good, good. Try to relax then, I would say. Been a while since I saw you. Also haven't seen you stream anything in a long time. Or maybe I'm just missing it. There we go. Let's go back. Let's make another wall. Let's try and make an actual tiny house. Uh, the wood wall, load. Uh, oh no, wait, we first have to make... First have to make the planks. Ten times. There we go. First have to make the planks. Doing great for a first house. <laughs> I don't feel like I am. Mm -mm -mm. I'm really impressed. It's a bit clunky compared to similar games. But I have a CAD background. And am being flooded with ideas. Mm -mm -mm. Go, get the planks. And get the wall. Load it. And then we need to put it in our inventory, the planks. Or in the crafting bench inventory. And we'll make two more. Yes. Now we need to make a better wooden wall as well. Load it. We'll change that to one point, uh, 0 0.1 as well. I need to change all of them to 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Let's all do... Actually, not all of them. They only do these, and that's fine. Ah, no, we'll do that one as well. Sharp edges. There we go. That looks nice. Looks pretty good. And the height for these is good. Now, how much is the total of this? Is there somewhere where I can see like how wide this is combined? Because this is per component, right? How do I know how big I made this? One point one point one one point one, so that's two hundred and twenty. Two hundred and twenty, and then I'll um it needs to be free then. When is so I need an eighty? I need a ninety centimeters piece there. 
That's what I need. Hopefully I can fit through here. Ninety centimeters, that should be it, right? Fit through. Well, it's almost a meter. And then save this door. I think we're done with that one. And let's craft one of those. I think I did well. Oh, it's dark. Uh-oh. We have a torch. We need a torch. Oh, God. There we go. Drop one there. Uh, wait. I made another one before. Why can I... Do not have coal anymore? Six. Plenty of coal. Oh, maybe I didn't have any more sticks. I'll make more torches. There we go. Another torch. Place them around the base. We can actually see what's going on. There we go. Oh, I didn't pick up the walls. Let's first do the walls. Is that the same height? Not. Oh no, it is. It is the same height. Cool. Then we'll turn that. A little off there. But I think that's alright. Tiny bit. It's the same as here. Yeah, that's okay. That's doable. Pick that up. And then we'll do this one right there. Beautiful. I think that's the same. Yep. Doing good, doing good. And then we'll put this one in. Same height. Yeah, looks like it's the same height. And does it fit perfectly? Part C. Think it does. It fits perfectly. And we can go through. Wow, look at that. <laughs> we finally did a thing. Awesome, we made ourselves a little house here. Without a roof. Let's, let's go working on a roof. Alright, so we have different materials we can work with. Metal, cobblestone, glass, golden plates, marble, bricks... Basket, ceramic tiles, concrete. I think I'm gonna use pork. I think that looks most like like straw. I don't think there's like a straw kind of. 
kind of thing here. Oh wait, wood wooden tiles maybe? No, that's too fancy. Or the basket. The basket could be used as well, maybe. They, uh... Uh, no, not that one. Um... Pyramid. This one, maybe. It might look nice. Make it bigger. Like that. And I put that on top of the roof. Something. This would be too fancy, I think. A cork. We have a... Let's do a normal shape. There we go. Better. And then we do a three point... We have 3.1. We'll make this one a little bit bigger. We do 15. 3.15. Make it a little higher. Sharp edges. Now we'll do smooth edges. Make it look nice. And we'll name this work roof, I guess. Save it. Now we need 420 pieces of wood. Oh my god. 420, baby. 420. Nice. Uh, that's gonna take a long time to gather, I think. I think that's gonna take million years together oh my god uh let's see one yeah one log gives eight it's gonna take quite a while it's still night time night time takes quite a long time or it's uh daytime again That was weird. I said something really stupid there. As always. Very dark without a torch. I need a mining helmet. Definitely need a mining helmet. I'll make it flatter. So you don't have much volume. Yeah. But I like having it... I like having it in a more steep angle. But I'll see. I'll see. I can always change it if I want. Before crafting it. Oh yeah, that, that was something I wanted to ask actually. Is there a way to... Like, cut out... Something... In the lab, in the in the designer, like the the cork roof that I designed now is like a solid, a solid pyramid, right? But is there a way to cut out the middle part of it, like everything un underneath the outside? Like, is there a way to cut out another pyramid underneath? You know what I mean? I'm not sure if I am explaining it correctly. Go. How many we have? We have nine. Let's put them in the thing. Take some pieces of wood. Some energy. Hmm. Could do the pyramid with own uh, 
you own with shapes and only do the cut out part some sort of flat point right right yeah so just make just make squares and or just make triangles and like put them together to make the roof piece from scratch basically Is there a triangle somewhere? Normal triangle? Don't think I've seen one. No, doesn't look like it. This one, I guess. If you... Yeah. That works. Make it all the way flat like that. Oh, that's gonna look a little weird though. Doesn't really work. I mean, this looks fine, but this side definitely doesn't. You can squish it together, yeah. But it's not really a great triangular form for that. Wait, let put this back to one... One. Oh, this one maybe. Never mind. This one is better. This one is fine. Yeah. This one works. So this will be uh, three point fifteen. Zero point ten, and then this. What would this one have to be? Zero point fifteen, uh, three point fifteen as well. No, that's too much. That's too. Uh, one, one point five. One point fifty-five. I'm not really good at that. Math. Mathematics. I'm not sure. Oh my god. This is gonna be too complicated for me. Be really complicated. And use sharp edges so it fits better. Yeah. Hmm. This is gonna be a big challenge. Is there a way to copy this one exactly? I guess if I save it and I load it without overriding it. Guess that work. I'll have to save this as right trying I don't know. I don't know how to write it. I'm just gonna write it in Dutch. Three hook. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Write it here. Three hook save. And then we'll not override it. Add another one. And change the positioning of it.
Right. Three point fifteen. Oh, but where did it go? What the heck? Um. Where did it go to? Oh, it went above. Okay, I went on top of it. But I changed this. Why? 3.15. That is confusing me. 3.15. Why does it go to the exact same place? That's not what I wanted. Oh yeah. Oh, that's you have to do more than that over there. It doesn't. The positioning doesn't work with the same numbers as that one does. It's confusing. Let's see. Oh yeah, so I have to do 315. Okay, I see. And uh, no, not that one. We'll have to change the... Blue... Yeah, if I... Minus 90. I guess. And then we... Station on... No. Oh god, this is gonna oh I I am not good at this. This is horrible. The game is not horrible, but I am. This is complicated for me. Let's see. Um, but this one is also gonna have to be in the same Somebody has to help me out here. What 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 has to be the rotation to make a perfect pyramid? What have what has to, what does the rotation have to be? Somebody needs to help me out. Because I can't do this on my own. Definitely not. Ninety, maybe forty-five equal tri triangle sixty, sixty, sixty. That's the other way around, but I guess that works. Um, Oh, no, 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 no. Mm, 
I did something wrong. Okay. This has to be more, I guess. Oh my god, this is gonna be horrible. Everybody's giving different answers, oh god. I guess I guess it's because I guess it de it depends on Yeah, like undefined the saying, like it depends on all the other stuff. God. I'm just gonna keep changing until it looks right. Um have to be similar though let's do one 1.8 1 1.8 1 it looks pretty similar oh look at that look at that Heck yeah. We made half of it. We made half. I'm very proud of myself. Now for the rest. Okay. Um. Okay, let's save. Let's overwrite this. Let's save. And let's load in another one. Wait, doesn't that work? Save. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, and then all I have to do... Is I have to... Change the rotation... Like, in the opposite direction, right? Or the, the position... No, the position I have to change. The rotation has to be different and the position has to be different. It, it's that easy. Which rotation? The red rotation has to be different. Pink or the blue? No, the green and or the blue. Okay, let's do position first. All right. Um, no. One. I wanna... No, 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 no. Minus 60. Not change that one. Right, yeah, this is the one that I have to change. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Um... Oh, 
Why does it look so off compared to the others? Oh yeah. Okay, that's better. This just has to be zero. 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 That's almost perfect. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm not going to change it anymore. That's fine. Okay, last one. Last one. Uh, let's go on that one. We'll go over there. Uh, no, not that. Uh, that one, yes. Yes, exactly. And we'll go that way. And a little bit up. Go to zero. Make this a hundred. No, minus. Minus hundred. That's 90, so this one has to be minus 90. Almost. I mean, they're not perfect, but... Almost. Not too bad. All right. Wooden roof V2. Save it. Craft it. Oh my god. That took forever. Okay, let's see if it actually works. Hopefully I made it correctly. Um, let's change the change the grid. Um, I think this one should be fine. No. It's not 
exactly what I wanted. But we have a roof. Oh, oh, okay, no, that's... Yeah, okay, no, I can't. Can't live with that, okay. We'll have to change that. Maybe it's easier if I do this. Or maybe it isn't. Did I not make it big enough? Did I not make it big enough? Oh god. No, it fits. No. Oh, no. Oh, the horror. <laughs> oh, my God. No, the horror. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to say that I am proud of what I made. <laughs> I cannot believe we've been working on this for like... Well, not two hours because, you know, we haven't been working on building that but like at least like the last hour or so we've been working on this <laughs> oh this is absolutely horrible i i have no idea what i'm doing it's really cool though i i can see some very talented people doing a lot of cool things with this like for example joe i know that he will love this and he will be very good at it as well Compared to me. Yeah, you're gonna be able to do some real cool stuff in this game. Definitely. Well, I think, that being said, let's see who won the, the raffle. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Go to the giveaways. We have four people who joined. We have Blaze, Sir Black, Sebastian, and Joe. Now let me see. I believe I had... Yeah, okay. From those four, I'm gonna pick two winners. So two people from the four will be able... To win. Let's close the entries. Let's pick the first winner. Let's see who won a key to this game. We got Blaze. Blaze, you're one of the lucky ones. You are getting a key from this game. And let's pick the second winner as well. And Joe. That's awesome. That's awesome. I... Can't wait to see what Joe comes up with building this game. Because there's also a creative mode, so you don't have to worry about getting all the materials. That's going to be a lot of fun. If you know what you're doing in this game, if you know how to editor, like how to, how to position and rotations and all that stuff. If you don't get a headache thinking about all that kind of stuff, then this game is uh, perfect for you, I would say. Just message me later so that I don't forget. You guys all have my Discord and whatever, so that shouldn't be a problem. I want to thank everybody for being here. I am very sorry for my inability to make a cool looking house. <laughs> I thought I would be able to make something bigger in a shorter time span. span. But yeah, I am just horrible at these kind of things. I really like the game though. I, I hope there's going to be an option later on to maybe buy a Steam Workshop or something like that to load in blueprints from other people so that you can just load in like certain walls 
from people and make your own house with that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun if things like that exist. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please remember to hit that like button on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch if you haven't done that yet. And subscribe to the channel as well. And Steam Workshops will become one of the updates in the future, I see. So that's awesome. I want to thank you guys all for being here. And until next time.